We don't believe the 1% is enough and in the health service the 1% is only being given to those at the top of their salary scale. It's not being given to those people who are still on their increments. And we believe that it's just a scandal, especially when the MLAs have awarded themselves an 11% pay award. In the food industry, they're some of the most exploited employees and they're on very low wages. So we're here today to say that that's not OK. And I was at a meeting recently about the arts cuts and it doesn't make sense to have artists competing against nurses and public servants. So solidarity is the answer. They've been out against racism and they've been out against sectarianism. Today, for the first time in years, they're standing up for themselves and the fact that they need a decent pay rise. Because students are workers, we know that so many students work low pay, zero hours, it's not good enough anymore, we want things to change. It's time that workers across the UK got a, a fair pay, a pay rise, a, a pay rise for all. They work very hard and it's about time they got a deserved increase in their pay. We certainly don't have a cushy number. The financial restrictions that we're experiencing at the minute are, are beyond. There's something I haven't seen before in my career. Um, there are real concerns about public sector, the funding that's coming from um, the Assembly. There's huge cuts coming. If we can have wars in Iraq and God knows what else and other stuff and afford 100 billion on Trident, we can afford to pay these comrades here a decent wage. So let's fight for fear, pay I'm from UCU at the Queen's University in Belfast and we're supporting this big demonstration in solidarity with all the people in the UK that are on low pay. Hey, we've been stuck for the last four years. And with me working for the Belfast City Council, I've had a pay freeze for the last four years. I haven't had a pay rise, but it's just been agreed for our, uh, we're getting a one percent pay rise at the minute, but we need more money. Radiographers over the last four or five years have seen a 10 to 15 percent in, um, decrease in their um, effective pay. Well, let's end youth rates, let's get rid of zero hour contracts and the casualisation of labour and give people a £10 an hour.